Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I made a video about Bitcoin Gold basically and um, uh, I tried to show you uh, how to import it to uh, the blockchain full node client as well as how to access it from Trezor. So uh, at the moment we would like to um, show you how to access your Bitcoin Gold uh, from your Ledger Nano S hardware wallet. At the moment Bitcoin Gold is quite a lot of money. Uh, it's worth uh, 2008 USD and it's growing so uh, you guys should have received the same amount of Bitcoin gold as you were holding uh, uh, Bitcoin in your wallets from uh, for which you are holding your private keys remember guys private key is the only thing you don't share to uh, with your friends with your father and with your family members it is your own key and whoever holds the private key uh, holds your uh, Bitcoin or all coins mm, as Andreas Anton Antonopoulos once said uh, your keys your Bitcoin not your keys not your Bitcoin so even the uh, Bitcoin that you are holding at, at the exchanges that you potentially it's yours but you don't owe it it is in the um, uh, wallet of the exchange from for which uh, private keys hold only the exchange so whatever happened to uh, Mt. Uh, Cox uh, in uh, uh, in early 2000 uh, to 13 14 basically they lost quite a lot of money so people uh, lot uh, people lose uh, lost a lot of money as well so Bitcoin gold basically uh, is trying to make Bitcoin decentralized again and to take it from the hands of uh, Mm, uh, the people who control the market from the ASICs and give it to the people who are home miners as uh, uh, and mining with GPU so it uses Equihash algorithm and <coughs> here we can see the comparison basically so what I want to show you today how to access it uh, from your Ledger Nano S and if you guys are wondering basically how to uh, how to access it uh, I will be showing you at the moment what you need to do so basically you need to uh, okay, let's see what we have to do. We have to op uh, open uh, uh, Ledger Nano S and let's see what you have to do. So we have to unlock Ledger, uh, Ledger Nano S and we have to put the pin. Uh, let's put the pin. Me, myself, I would prefer to use uh, a Trezor, but the reason I'm using Ledger Nano S is because uh, we can access uh, quite a uh, few uh, all coins so ba basically more than uh, Trezor provides us for example Arc, Neo, Stratis and I hold quite a lot of amount of Neo because I'm a Neo supporter mm -hmm. and uh, basically for that reason I uh, chose to get Trezor and Ledger both together so we need to as you guys know we can only download only full applications in uh, our Ledger Nano OS so I have at the moment Bitcoin Gold, mm, Ethereum Neo, Stratis, Arc. So we have to go to Bitcoin Gold Wallet. We have to unlock it. And basically, if you go to legacy account, basically you cannot find it there. So you might be interested, where is it and how can you access it? So <clears throat> what do you need to do? Basically, let's see, I went to my legacy account. It's synchronizing and it is going to show me uh, zero <coughs> BTG. Okay, let's wait for it gonna take a while because it's a legacy all the quite a lot all the account legacy was the first account because before the segwit happened and let's see it is taking time so okay so we have zero and if we go to blockchain and if you go to segwit we're gonna have zero as well so don't be scared guys you have to go to the mm, blockchain and you have to go to btg split tool and you have to choose segwit and that's where you're gonna find your Bitcoin gold basically so this is it it's there mm, uh, and uh, basically at the moment you can see that I am holding uh, for example 65 Bitcoin gold but basically guys I, I, did, I was not holding 65 uh, Bitcoin in order to get 65 Bitcoin gold as it is giving the ratio one to one so if you were holding one Bitcoin you it would have got you Mm, one Bitcoin gold, but that uh, that's not the amount I was holding. So uh, I just bought it on the market because I was thinking that the price would go up, and I bought it at 130 USD, and now the price we got is around up to 280 USD. So this is the way you have to access uh, your BTG wallet, and if you cannot, 
uh, find it. Don't be scared. All you need to go is to go to blockchains and you need to choose BTG split to it's right there and then segwit and you have to ask you're gonna access BTG gold. So what what is happening about BTG gold here? Mm, the pre mine thing is forgotten basically the team, the devs obviously they needed money to mm, market the product, to mm, support the product, to get the community basically and it is growing now. Trezor, Ledger, Coinomai, Bitpay, Gorda, Free Wallet BTG wallet, all out, all of these wallets are supporting Bitcoin Gold, and as I show in one of the videos, the people who created BTG Wallet dot online, the wallets on this website, uh, I sh I am showing in the previous video how to um, import BTG uh, uh, mined coins into the blockchain full node client. So basically, if you gonna see that video, I would be providing the link below in the description. So this is what Bitcoin Gold is. I believe in this project because Asia is supporting this pro this coin a lot. If we go basically to, um, uh, if we go to, uh, okay, basically I was on uh, with OBS and what I want to say, okay, let's let's try it again. So Bitcoin Gold is trying to make everything decentralized. Here we can see the uh, comparison and. Uh, no, okay, I will, uh, what I was saying basically is that BTG wallet, uh, people who created online wallets at BTG wallet online, you get your private key and everything and I'm going to provide the video where I explain how to import it in BTG full node client. So uh, this is all I wanted to tell you. So lots of Asian uh, markets are supporting Bitcoin Gold as well. So Bitcoin Gold is number 10 at the moment with a market cap of over five over 460 billion usd which is a lot and if we go to the major markets bpm is uh the first with 174 million value in 20 in million volume in 24 hours of trading so uh thanks a lot for watching this is all i wanted to show to you and i see you next one bye